worst communist offenders that we've found for years, the United Church of Christ, Office of Communication Incorporated. <laughs> I'm surprised the United Methodist Church is not here. They're usually the, in the forefront of communist movements. Do what? Did he actually say what I just thought he just said? Does anyone actually think this is a good idea? No. I mean, seriously? Do you write devotional thoughts that are meant for inspiration because you suck at it? If you do. 1-800-773-8255. That's 1-800-773-8255. Welcome into the Matthew Hill Show on this, your favorite radio station. And I am Kenneth Hill sitting in for, Matthew, for the one and the only Mr. Matthew Hill. And uh, glad to be doing so. In fact, it was a surprise when I received a call asking me to sit in for him today. They're uh, working through budget matters in the state legislature where Matthew Hill serves, and uh, they're in a special, they, they don't call it a special session, but it's at this time it was not planned. And so they asked me, would you please sit in for the erstwhile Matthew Hill, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, we say, uh, hi, glad you have joined us. And by the way, you know, I, I see this as a real privilege uh, to be here, quite honestly. I could be doing a lot of other stuff. In fact, I do a lot of other things. But um, anyway, um, and I will uh, I will be enjoying being with you. All right, here's uh, something that um, came across my desk yesterday that uh, I wanted to talk about this uh, today. Activists want the FCC on the beat against Internet, radio, and cable hate speech. Wow. This thing is so predictable. It's been talked about before, and I've talked about it with you before. The uh, final portion of the Matthew Hill Show today, and uh, thank you for joining me. Kenneth Hill here. been talking today about a, an important matter, about free speech, the freedom of speech. <laughs> Just shove it, okay? Seriously. <laughs> And uh, I thought it was important enough, and I appreciate uh, Matthew giving me the opportunity to talk about this, because it's a warning, my friend. It's a warning. The National Hispanic Media Coalition has no desire, no desire, for the Constitution to be obeyed. In fact, uh, well... I would be conjecturing, but I would suppose that their institution itself, their organization itself, probably is anti-constitutional to the very root. Here are the organizations that make up this National Hispanic Media Coalition. All right? And you write these down if you want to. I'll try to go slow enough that you can. And you do some research on them, okay? Or you can get the list at rbr.com. rbr.com. That's a radio um, business report. And then one of the worst communist offenders that we've found for years, the United Church of Christ, Office of Communication Incorporated. <laughs>
surprise the United Methodist Church is not here. They're usually the, in the forefront of communist movements. Do what? Did he actually say what I just thought he just said? I'm surprised the United Methodist Church is not here. They're usually the, in the forefront of communist movements. I mean, seriously? Do you write devotional thoughts that are meant for inspiration because you suck at it? <laughs> Just shove it, okay? Seriously.